What's up guys, TechBrawl19 here, and today I'll be giving you guys a look at some of the really cool features in iOS 5. Just a quick heads up, this is not the only video I will be doing about the features in iOS 5. I will be doing tons and tons of more videos. So just wanted to clarify that, and um, well, let's get started. First off, I'm going to talk about the camera enhancements. What you can do is, you can take the home button, double tap it, and let me just get this into focus for you guys. And you see this camera button right here, you click on it, and the camera opens up. With that, it gives you options, and if you're on an iPhone, it'll give you another option to turn on HDR, but I can't show you that because I'm recording with an iPhone, but yeah, you get the point. So you have grids here and stuff, so I'm just going to take a picture of the corner of this desk. <laughs> so um, once you take the picture, I have to unlock this. You go to photos and the picture itself and then what you can do is you can actually edit the picture like you can auto enhance it and if there's red eye or anything like that you can do that and you can also crop it by just pinching and stuff like that you can also zoom and turn it around and stuff like that so um, yeah and another thing I'll be showing you guys is the other half of the feature I'll be showing you guys on the iPad which is notification center what you have to do is you take your finger you scroll from the top to the bottom and you have all of your notifications here and you can also have an option to have stocks displaying here which they just go across <coughs> and um, you have all of your weather and you can have the just like one weather for today or you can have weather for a whole week so that's it for what I'm going to show you guys on the iPad I mean iPod touch sorry about that <clears throat> and um, next up, I'll be showing you guys some features on the iPad. Okay guys, so I have my iPad here, and I'm going to start showing you guys the rest of the features that I was going to show you. What you can do is, when you open up the iPad or iPhone, all of your notifications will be displayed right over here in like a list format. And what you can do is, you can swipe individually and go to that particular app that sent you the notification. Um, or you can just unlock the device. Okay. Unlock the device and um, get on or directly go to that. And another thing is, you can, like I showed on the iPod, you can take your finger, scroll down, and all of your notifications will be here. And the only thing that's not going to be on here is going to be the weather and stock stuff because that doesn't come on the iPad, I don't know why, but yeah. Another really cool thing is Newsstand. Newsstand is like an, a kind of store which lets you read all your magazines and stuff. So you can open it up and every single day newsstand will update itself to get you all the latest news and information so yeah as you see it comes in this kind of format and um... yeah that's it for newsstand and there's also iMessage which is it's kinda like if you're on an iPhone it's just gonna be your messages folder you open it and if you send it to someone with an iOS device the iPad, iPod or iPhone will automatically detect if it's an iOS device and it'll make it an iMessage and um... yeah and next up there's something called reminders they are right over here let me try to get this in focus for you guys so let's open up that you can set a particular reminder, like maybe you can tell it to remind you to call your friend when you leave your house. So you can just set the reminder and it'll put a perimeter around where you live or wherever you are. And once you leave that place, 
it will give you a notification. Generally, the notifications will come up as a banner on the top. And, um, well, it depends on how you have them. You can have settings for an alert, a banner, or nothing at all. But I have all of my notifications as banners. And, um, I'm just looking through my list to see if there's anything else that I missed. Oh, yeah, and Twitter is integrated on the iPad itself. So once you open it, if you go to settings and you look right over here, it says Twitter. So once you open Twitter, you can add accounts and if you like have a photo. Let me just go to my photos and show you guys. Maybe I have something that's cool. And I want to share to Twitter like um let's say I want to share this picture of a cute dog on Twitter. All I have to do is click this button right over here. And it gives me an option to tweet. I can tweet it and share this picture on Twitter. Um, so yeah, that so Twitter is on the device itself. And next up is something that I think is really cool. Well, first of all, let me show you guys this. There is something called tabs for Safari. So like, um, let's just say you go on to. Well, I'm just going to show you guys this feature right now. With it, what you have to do something cool is you can split up the keyboard. So what you do is you take your fingers, pinch in the middle, and you just separate it. So it's easier for typing. Like I can type in mm, dot. Where's the dot? Okay, dot apple dot com. And there's apple dot com and the article that Mr. Jobs passing away and you can open up a new tab by clicking on the plus sign in the corner and you can go into another website like I'll go on to Google or Yahoo so what you can do is you can move around these tabs in the order that you want them or you can switch in between and um this keyboard, split up keyboard, works in this position or landscape. So if you need to type in landscape, it's really easy to type on this. And once you're done, you can just bring them back together. So I believe that is everything that I plan to show you guys for iOS 5. So, um... Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe, comment, thumbs up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.